Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Ben Fisk for the Darkfall Protocol. Now because my entire crew is out of town for Thanksgiving, I thought we would try something a little different today. Today, uh, with the assistance of some of the pictures I took at the time, I'd like to tell you all the story of one of my more notorious achievements. Uh, it's one that I have referenced on the show before. The thing is so much worse than the sandwich. So without further ado, here is the story of That Sandwich, also known as Under Cardiac Arrest. Now, this achievement initially took place in the summer of 2012. I had just graduated from high school and I was completing the summer list known as the Midnight Contract. But this was me and Daniel, and at that point, we decided that we were going to do one more big achievement. And that achievement was to go to Subway Sandwiches and buy one with everything with every single available topping. So we were heading in, it was about seven o'clock and it was a Tuesday, and uh, we were hoping that we were gonna get somebody young, preferably in high school, who would kind of go along with this joke. Instead, we walk in and we find this very disgruntled looking woman in her late 40s who is clearly just fed up with life. So we walk in and we see how downtrodden she is and we kind of look at each other and go, all right, this is gonna be bad. So, of course, because it's my ordeal, I walk up to the counter and I say, Excuse me, ma'am. Uh, I know this is going to sound like a joke, but I would like to buy one sandwich with everything. And she kind of pauses and digests it for a moment. And then she looks at me and goes, You know, that's going to be like $15, right? In a clear attempt to try to get me to back down. Our reaction was to basically jump up and down and clap because we had been assuming the sandwich was going to be somewhere in the neighborhood of $25. So when she said $15, that was way better than we had hoped for. Uh, this did nothing to raise her spirits. And so she kind of just slid her gloves on and you could tell that she was, she was resigned. She was accepting it. And so she looks at me and goes, All right. What do you want this on? And I say, obviously, white, because there's no need to throw another flavor in there when you don't have to. So she starts assembling everything. She made me a six inch sandwich on Italian white bread with bacon, buffalo chicken, a chicken patty, ham, pepperoni, roast beef, steak, teriyaki, chicken, turkey breast, bologna, American cheese, Monterey cheddar, natural cheddar, pepper jack, provolone, and Swiss cheese, banana peppers, cucumbers, green peppers, jalapenos, lettuce, olives, onions, pickles, spinach, tomatoes, balsamic vinaigrette, buffalo sauce, chipotle, southwest sauce, honey mustard, mayonnaise, mustard, ranch dressing, sweet onion sauce, and zesty cucumber sauce. And so the woman gets to the end and she does her best to try to wrap the sandwich. And uh, Dan had also ordered a six inch sub However, his was normal. So she finishes making our sandwiches, and of course, I'm up to pay first. So uh, she totals it all up, and she looks at me, and she's like, that's going to be uh, $13. And I'm like, oh my gosh, that's even better than I had been hoping for. And at this point, she just hates me, and she wants me to leave. So I give her my card, and I slide the $5 into the tip jar. Now, just for the record, this constitutes a 38% tip for less than five minutes worth of work. And so she sees this and just gives me no response. But uh, at that point, I have my sandwich in hand. I've seen the monstrosity that I'm going to subject myself to, so she can't take away my good feeling. So Dan and I head back to my place, and we start to unwrap the sandwiches. Now, the first thing that you need to understand is, even though the bread is not bigger, the sandwich itself is somehow twice the size of a normal six-inch sub. So we start unwrapping it, and uh, the second that mine comes fully unwrapped, the innards start to just spill out like we were seeking refuge inside of a tauntaun. Everything has turned a shade of orange, as I'm sure you can see in the pictures. I'm not sure exactly what did that. I think it's a combination of the buffalo sauce and probably the mayonnaise and ranch. And I get everything together, and of course I'm going to need something to drink. And unfortunately, in my house, we never had soda. What we did have was canned Pellegrino water with a shot of lemon juice in it. To be clear, this is not lemonade, it is like very, very bitter carbonated water. But I need something that's going to cut through all of this nightmare, so that's what I've got. So I've got two cans of Pellegrino water and I've got this gigantic sandwich in front of me. And so, the uh, stipulation of course, is that I have to eat all of it. I can't leave anything behind. I take the first bite, and it's kind of hard to describe exactly what it was like. Uh, imagine every sandwich you've ever eaten, and then just imagine eating them all. 
at the same time. Uh, the first, first bite I took took me through the bologna, and the way that she had to do this to get everything to fit onto the sandwich was the bologna was basically rolled up on itself to the thickness of a Lincoln log. So imagine biting into just a brick of bologna that is covered in balsamic vinaigrette, chipotle southwest sauce, and sweet onion sauce. Um, yeah. So, it is not good. It is like my tongue is being beaten in a back alley by every flavor on the Subway roster. And I know that it is not going to get any better. So, I just keep trucking through. The cheese was prevalent throughout. Um, what really happened was the sauces ended up taking complete control over everything. And because there were so many of them, there was never a unified taste. Every single bite was different and unique and interesting and awful and worse than the one before it. So it got to the point where I had finally managed to muscle down this disgusting sandwich and of course now I've basically got everything that's spilled out onto the wrapping and it's marinating in a puddle of its own juices. So eventually we get down to the last bite and um, I have just forgone any notion of silverware at this point. So I scoop it up in my fingers and I kind of drop it into my face like a crane game. So I downed it with some more of that disgusting bitter carbonated pig swill and finally that was enough to call it good. Now we had had plans to go out and do some other stuff, some more achievements um, after I finished the sandwich However, at that point, it was like a boulder made of hatred had taken up residence in my small intestine. Uh, so he left and I went straight to bed because I was not really able to function cognitively at that point. Since then, of course, I would say that the clogger is as bad if not worse, and like I said in the shake video, nothing beats that in terms of disgusting. However, this was a full three years before any of those things happened, and uh, under cardiac arrest will always hold a special place in my heart. It may not be the worst food-related challenge I've ever done, but uh, it was pretty much the first. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is the story of Under Cardiac Arrest. Uh, I hope you enjoyed hearing about some of the things that had happened before I started filming. And uh, if you like this, I absolutely have more. I've been doing this for six years now, so that I have I have a couple stories. Thank you all very much for listening. This is Ben Fisk for the Darkfall Protocol, signing off.